So the 2021 edition of the Worldwide Developers Conference has concluded and there were some major updates for both users and developers with updates coming to iOS, iPadOS, macOS and watchOS. Now there were a lot of announcements made at the event and it's very difficult for us to compress the entire event into this video. So what we'll do is just focus on the main bits. So. Here are the top announcements made at this year's Worldwide Developers Conference. Let's first talk about iOS 15. Now, firstly, they talked about FaceTime, which is getting a lot of updates. Now, the first is spatial audio, where you'll be able to get to understand where the audio is coming from, which user is talking. And that's a feature that I'm sure a lot of FaceTime users were waiting for. Now, voice isolation is something that will also help a lot of users because a lot of ambient noise and background noise tends to suppress your vocals, which is why Apple has updated that feature, has brought to FaceTime. Now, grid view is something which will give you a clean view of all of the people that you're talking with in FaceTime. And that is also something that a lot of FaceTime users will be looking forward to. Now, another update is that you will now be able to share your FaceTime link with other people via other third party applications like even WhatsApp, emails and more. Another interesting feature is share play that comes to iOS 15, where you will be able to share content, watch content with your friends and family at the same time using FaceTime. So imagine watching a movie or listening to a music track all at the same time using this feature. It's pretty cool. Moving on, Messages also gets a couple of updates where you get a new redesigned application interface. You also get reminders of who has sent messages to you in the inbox. And now you also get to pin important messages. Another update that Apple talked about was focus where your device interacts with you according to the state of mind. So if you do not want a lot of notifications coming your way, or if you want your audio profile to be low, Apple has been able to customize that with iOS 15. So your device kind of interacts with how your mood is. Oh, and most importantly now, Apple's iOS 15 is bringing mute all notifications to the DND feature. This is also a very neat feature that also works with phone numbers as in where you have a phone number in the photo, it will automatically convert into a phone number link which you can tap on, paste and well, store it in your contact list. Photos has also added a new feature called Photos Memories where you will be able to customize your photos, your photo memory, add music to them, filters, kind of like how you know TikTok or Instagram works these days. So a lot of customizations have been added to the Photos app. A few updates have been made to the weather app and also maps where weather gets a few cosmetic, a few visual additions. Map adds some 3D navigation. It also adds support for uh, AR for directions and you get a more detailed layout of where you are heading. Now moving on to iPad OS 15, where according to Apple, the biggest update for iPad OS this year was the addition of widgets to the home screen. Yes, you will be able to add widgets. You will be able to add an app library to this home screen where multiple apps can be stored in one location. You will also be able to hide multiple pages uh, as per your need because that's customization that a lot of people require. And now you also get the option of multitasking, a split window, which I've already seen on many Android devices that's coming to iPad OS 15 and also something called shells where you will be able to multitask and shift applications as per your need. So that's a nifty feature that iPad OS is getting this year. Now let's focus on watch OS 8 where it's getting some features that will help you breathe easily. It's getting prompts via the watch and it's also getting a new workout for Tai Chi. Apart from that, it's also getting enhancements in its sleep tracking facilities and also Pilates is being included in the workout suite. You'll be getting pro workout tips from fitness trainers like Janet Jenkins. You're getting customized playlists with artists like Lady Gaga featuring uh, watch faces, more fitness activities being included in this year's watchOS update. So there's a lot to look forward to.
Next up is Mac OS and the new Mac OS is called Monterey. Now, one of the biggest feature that's coming to Mac OS Monterey is universal control where you will be able to use one keyboard and one mouse through different devices. So for example, if you have a Mac and an iPad right adjacent to each other, and if you use the mouse, scroll to uh, the end of the screen, the mouse automatically moves into the iPad screen. That's something that a new feature is coming to Mac OS. And also you can transfer documents, files, images, videos from one device to the other using this universal control feature. So something definitely to look forward to for a lot of content creators. Another feature was Apple AirPlay that Apple talked about in the event where you can stream content, where you can mirror content from your iPhone to your Apple TV. Something like what mirroring is. Apple's web browser Safari also gets some of the updates where now you get grouping tabs. So most of these tabs when you're surfing will have the same color as the web page. That's something new that's coming. You also get uh, tabs that will be shared across Apple devices. So if you're working on an iPhone, but want the same tabs to reflect on an iPad or the Mac, that is also a feature that's coming to the new Mac. Some of the other key announcements that were made at the event were related to privacy where you are now getting a new mail privacy protection feature which will hide your IP addresses and also which websites you are visiting. It will also hide your location and also make sure that no third party websites or platforms are able to track what you are surfing on the web. So this is another privacy feature that Apple is bringing to Safari. Another update has been made to the iCloud service, which is now called iCloud Plus. Now in iCloud Plus, you get the option of account recovery where you can assign people, for example, your father or somebody in your family who can have access or a certain code to your account. So if, for example, if you lose your account credentials or details, you can then ask that family member, send them a code and they can give access or recover your account. It's, it's another safeguard that is being implemented by Apple in their ecosystem. Another update that is coming to Apple's iCloud Plus is legacy access, where for people who pass away, have their accounts and their data on the iCloud, that can be passed on to the next skin. Some of the other privacy features that are being included in upcoming Mac OS are the private relay options where when you're browsing in Safari, then nobody will be able to intercept what exactly it is that you're browsing. And you also get a hide my mail option where the email will be disguised in a way so that the recipient doesn't know or maybe if you want to really hide your email from prying eyes, that is a feature that will come in handy. There are some updates coming in the hardware division in home where now Siri will be supported by third party devices. There are also some hardware enhancements coming but we'll get to know more about that later. And last but not the least, there are updates coming to the Apple AirPods ecosystem where now you will be able to have better conversations using Conversation Boost, which focuses the sound of the person who is right in front of you into the ear so that ambient noise is suppressed and killed. Another feature that's coming is announced notifications where Siri will be announcing all the notifications or updates that are coming on your phone right into your ear. So these were some of the big announcements made at this year's Apple Worldwide Developers Conference. Let us know in the comments section whether you think whether these updates, whether these introductions will really, really change how the Apple ecosystem works. And as always, for everything else tech, log on to gadgets360.com.